Hi everyone, welcome. What you see here is the bin that I plan on checking in on today. It's my 154 day old worm bin, which over the past 22 days has not gotten any food. It's been doing what I refer to as foraging. The last time we checked in here was after it had completed 15 days of foraging, one week ago. And at that time we, I don't know why, but I guess on multiple occasions I kept repeatedly saying in one week's time, when we check back in here in one week's time, I think in my mind I was sort of already anticipating that in about another week's time this bin might be pretty close if not already at that stage where we can initiate the next phase. At some point, you know, I'll have to make the call that it's good enough and it's time to start rounding up the worms to get them moved out of there. And whether or not we're going to be ready to do that today in this bin, I don't know, but I'm going to get a glove on, we'll bring the thing over onto the bench so we can take a look and then we'll decide what to do. So let's get to work. So the red wigglers that occupy this system have been doing a really nice job breaking stuff down. And I guess besides the red wiggler worms, the composting worms, I also occasionally bump into the larvae of, I believe, I think they're moth larvae. But I always pull these guys out and get rid of them. I don't know, I think it might just be a remnant from when this population of worms still lived outside. This is a population that I migrated indoors from out, outside. So a period of time there was um, the possibility that other types of creatures, possibly moths, kind of cohabitated the environment with the worms. So I keep bumping into little traces of that still going on here. And it's usually not severe, so I just kind of cope with it and pull them out. And my hope is really that in time it'll be um, a done deal. So I could definitely see worms. We saw a couple of those little caterpillars that we removed. Over here in the corner, these um, little pill bugs caught my eye. These little guys are so cool. Some of them that are a little bit skittish roll up into a ball. Other ones that are not bothered by our presence just keep going, like this little guy here. <laughs> Oh, here's another one. So, I, I did make an extra effort to bring in pill bugs. The other types of bugs I would rather not see in here, but um, I think, yeah, I think this stuff looks so nice. It's got such nice moisture content to it. It's got a whole week's worth of fresh castings deposited across the top surface. And, I don't know, I, I guess, like I said, there's a point, at some point I'll have to just say foraging is over. Time to initiate the migration of the worms out of the compost. And I've been trying to sort of fine tune my um, my criteria for making the judgment call on when to end foraging and when to begin migration of worms. So I recently went through this same exact mental exercise in another of my bins that I actually, you know, was holding off and holding off and I kept usually using stuff like these little leaf stems as the reason to let the system keep going a little longer in this foraging mode until such a time that um, there's a lot less of that visible. And I, I don't really expect to be able to shut down foraging today here. I don't know what I expected. I guess when I reviewed the video and I, I kept hearing myself repeat the reference to another check-in on this system in a week's time, I guess I was sort of already um, predicting that in another week's time we would see leaps and bounds of progress in here. And I definitely have to say it looks really nice. Really beautiful castings, nice and flaky, nice and damp. I still see stuff, you know, food scraps. This looks like maybe the stem of a banana peel. You know, these little sticks and stems that's something I, I should definitely not use as a measure for how close we are to the finish line. Um, the other thing I think we've been doing in this system too when we bump into a scrap like this, this is a piece of seed. If it's possible to do what I'm doing here, which is to fragment it into little bits, then why not? I've been doing that too. But I really didn't intend to use a lot of time today to do this. I really just wanted to kind of make good on my own little sort of IOU to myself to check in in a week's time and that was today see how things are doing in here at least give this system a quick evaluation of where it's going and 
what to anticipate next. And I do feel like I'm very close. It does seem like maybe if we wait, waited yet another week. So, you know, where are we now? 22 days foraging. If we got somewhere near 30 days, 35 days, that would be 35 days would be five weeks. That would be um probably a good amount of time to see possibly a good bit of this stuff broken down further than it is now. But even now it's in really nice shape already so um i am definitely leaving this system to continue just a little bit longer uh just the way it is there's no need to add any water no need to uh remove anything no need to um react to anything i think we're seeing worms pretty much in all reaches of the bin the moisture level and just the consistency of the consistency of the material throughout the bin everywhere is almost identical and I think it's doing great. It's just kind of fun picking through here and seeing so many worms all over the place. There's no one concentration of stuff anywhere in this bin. There's no big mound of food that's drawing a big crowd of worms. So there is no congregation of worms anywhere. But no matter where you go, you definitely see large numbers of worms. It definitely makes me curious to know, like, you know, how big of a population exists in here. It seems pretty large. But it's hard to tell really is very difficult to tell okay i think we can let these little guys get back to the awesome job that they're doing here continuing to break down all of this stuff but like i said i'm not going to be oops i just found another one of these little guys let's get rid of him i guess if there was another one on the uh plastic maybe i should just take another look to see if i see any more and get rid of them Pretty interesting. I mean, such tiny little worms. I mean, minuscule. Yeah, I got him. Got the little guy to come up onto my fingertip. You could tell he's just tiny. Tiny little worm. There's a good number of them, you know. I see tiny worms right there. I don't know if they're visible on the camera. I'm sure it was easy enough to see on my fingertip, but here on the plastic, there's just so many of them. Even over here all over the place little itsy bitsy worms really seeming to enjoy the um underside of this plastic probably not the plastic they're so interested in probably more about the moisture that collects there but whatever the reason it's kind of cool to be able to check them all out all those little babies is a pretty good indication that these worms are feeling pretty comfortable in their space and they're propagating and increasing their numbers so i don't think there's a whole lot left to do here I just got to get that last piece of covering on here so we can let these little guys get back to doing what they were doing. I guess I got a few things to clean up and put away too, but I'm not going to keep you around for that because that's boring. Before I go though, let me really quickly say thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please remember to leave me a quick thumbs up. That's always very much appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's very much appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching.